All right, well, it's almost time to play ball at Comerica Park right now. You're taking a live look there. As you can see some of the players out on the field warming up for tonight's game. And we're just hours away from the Tigers home opener. Detroit taking on the Kansas City Royals with the first pitch at 7 10 p.m. Yeah, there will be no fans in the stands this year and several other changes are in place. Let's go live to the ballpark. Brad Galley standing by with the latest on what we can expect tonight, Brad. The only people allowed on the field are the guys in uniform and the people that are that close to the team within that group. Guys like the Bat Boys and the manager and the other coaches. Our normal setup will be down the third baseline. I would have arrived here with our crew at 4 a.m. to get you set for coverage throughout the day on the home opener. Ultimately, I got here around a little bit before 4 p.m. Things are much different. This is as close as we can be to the players and to the action. And there is unrest across baseball. The Miami Marlins had a spike in coronavirus positive tests. They canceled their game tonight. So too did the Philadelphia Phillies, who played against the Marlins over the weekend. The Tigers and Jordy Mercer especially said today the team is taking this very seriously. And actually, today's news, Mercer said, doesn't change anything. The group has been really unrest and kind of uneasy about all of this, but they're trying to tell everybody baseball can't happen without everybody's participation and making sure they're staying safe. Once baseball actually unfolds tonight, Michael Fulmer will start for the Tigers. He hasn't pitched since 2018. This, no fans in the stands, tape, which I'll show you in just a few moments, on the seats, it's not what he envisioned in his comeback, but he is giddy as ever to get back on the mound. Yeah, I've been super nervous, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's like the good nerves that you get from starting the home opener um, in 2017 against the Red Sox. You know, it's, 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 it's great. It's a great feeling to have. and. Um, I almost welcome it. The ultimate thing is we're still playing, but we're getting to play baseball and we're still battling another team on the other side. Uh, when we were playing those inter squad games, it was a little more difficult even there. So now we're playing other teams. It, it you know, it's baseball. There are no fans in the stands, and a big part of what we've tried to cover throughout the summer camp was how the team would adapt to that. Some teams have crowds built with cardboard cutouts. You saw what Fox did over the weekend with regional coverage of the national games with the fake fans essentially put in like a Sims video game. What the Tigers noticed was that there was a glare on the normal silver stickers that were put on each seat number. So they taped each and every seat, it looks like, throughout the entire lower deck all the way until the outfield so that players in the outfield and infielders looking back at these seats wouldn't be hit by the glare. They accounted for everything they possibly could have, but the changes continue to be made amid this coronavirus pandemic. I do want to show you what they're doing before the game tonight, give you a sneak peek of the tribute they have planned for Al Kaline. We showed you over the weekend the number six patches that they would have for Al Kaline. Uh, they are doing that, continuing to wear those throughout the season. All 60 games, the Tigers will be wearing those. They've also got a decal they're putting on each and every one of the bases tonight, all three of them that I'm sure they'll put in some sort of Comerica Park archive or maybe even auction off to fans here. They're paying tribute to Al Kalen with a ceremony that's set to start around 640 tonight before first pitch at 710. Mercer said that you could tell K-Line's presence was felt in just his one year here with K-Line last spring training. But for guys here, it's the first time Al K-Line has not been a part of the home opener in decades. Reporting live tonight at Comerica Park, Greg Alley, 7 Action Sports. Yeah, it's so tough for those players to play without any fans. But it's nice to see that the Tigers' record is 2-1 right now after yeah. coming back from Cincinnati over the weekend. And hopefully <laughs> we can get a big W again tonight. Brad, yeah. thanks for that live report.